Welcome to our reflection for Sunday the 3rd of January 2021 which I'm recording on the 21st of December. The theme for this morning is Wise Men Seeking Jesus and it reflects on the words of a hymn from our hymn book. Wise men seeking Jesus travelled from afar, guided on their journey by a bounteous star. The reason I'm telling you that it's been recorded on the 21st of December is because today, if it's clear, and it isn't at the moment, it's raining, but tonight if you go out and look, you will see that two planets have come very close together. An event that happens once every 800 years and it is thought that the star in the east that the wise men saw may have been this conjunction of the planets. We talk about them as kings and we talk about them as wise men, but they did travel a long way to visit Jesus. In Faye Rowland's meditation book for Christmas, she suggests adding different figures to the nativity scene every week. And if you watched last week, you'd have seen that I had Mary and the baby Jesus with the ox and donkey and they'd been joined by a shepherd. This week they've been joined by the three wise men. So tradition says that the wise men were called Balthazar, Melchior and Caspar. We have no idea if those were their names or not but they brought three gifts which are famous and I'm sure like me you can name them gold, frankincense and myrrh. Tradition holds that these were the gifts that were from a mystical meaning, gold for kingship. Perhaps it's too expensive to make homemade jewellery out of gold but we can all enjoy things that glitter around the house. Frankincense to offer have I. Frankincense was designed to be used instead of an aerosol room freshener and then myrrh, the final gift of the three wise men. This one was symbolised preparing a body for death which is a sad thing to think about when we're thinking about the birth of Jesus, but it was to foretell the fact that he was a human rather than just God. And in the Bible, in Matthew's Gospel, we read that Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea during the time when Herod was king. Soon afterwards, men who studied, from the, st studied the stars came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, where is the baby born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and we have come to worship him. Herod consulted his own wise men and they told him that Jesus was not born in Jerusalem in the palace, but he was born in Bethlehem, the home of David, the traditional and well-loved and well-known king of the Jews. And eventually when they came to the house, where Jesus was and saw him with his mother Mary, they bowed down and worshipped him, opened their gifts and gave him treasures of gold and frankincense and myrrh. I wonder what on earth Mary, a simple village girl from Nazareth, thought when she saw these rich men arriving. Where are we going to put the camels? What can we offer them for food? I don't have room for them here and what strange gifts, what on earth am I supposed to do with these? I want to share something that I used to make as a child fairly frequently because we didn't have much money and we were always encouraged to make homemade gifts. I'm just going to pan the camera around so I've got a flat surface, yes I know it's the back of a door, but I've got a flat surface to show the activity on. And we're going to start by taking an orange at arm's length. Now the last time we used oranges for an activity, we did it 
for Chris Dingle. And I'm not making a Chris Dingle, though you can see that there's a ribbon at the bottom. What we're going to do is we're going to take the ribbon up to the top. I'm probably going to have to take it off camera and bring it back in again. So just bear with me for a minute. Just see how this is going to work. We're going to take the ribbon off screen. And you're going to pin all four pieces of ribbon at the top like that. And unlike Blue Peter, there isn't one I've made earlier, but I'm only going to do one just now. So eventually all four ribbons would be pinned at the top and you could tie them off in a bow. And then what we did, this is thinking about the, the, the wise men and their activity. So you need to take the orange and you need to stab it with a skewer all over. Lots of holes. I'm only going to do a few, okay? And then we're going to take some cloves. An incense, Christmassy kind of smell. And if you went on and on and on, you would fill all the holes. You don't want to put them too close together. You want to leave some spaces between them. But already I can smell that smell that reminds me of Christmas. And we used to take, take one of these and cover it all over with cloves until it was absolutely covered. And then we would put it in the airing cupboard to dry for about two to three weeks. And actually, to be honest, I used to make these at the beginning of Advent. And then my grandmother, would, who loved them, used to hang it in her wardrobe with all her clothes, so they always smell of lovely incenses. And also cloves, and I've got a cinnamon stick as well, which I'm going to tie onto the top, will then ward away insects in the wardrobe so that your clothes smell fresh and nice, but also they didn't get eaten by insects. So today, to remember the three kings, and their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. I've got an orange and exotic fruit, or it was when I was a child, with some ribbon with a gold tint edge and the lovely smelling different spices which come from the east to remind us of the three kings. So as you can see, I've put cloves on one quarter of the orange. I'm filling up the next side of the orange and I've tied a cinnamon stick on top with a hanging loop so that we can hang that somewhere with that lovely smell of Christmas. I'm just going to pan back round to our nativity scene again while we say our short prayer. Dear God, the wise men brought strange gifts to Jesus but that was okay with you. I don't know if I have anything good enough to give to Jesus, but thank you that whatever I bring is always good enough for you. Amen. Thank you for listening. Do remember to share your activities on media at standrews.cc. Stay safe and well, and we'll see you again soon.